1971, Namibia's case came before the International Court of Justice over the South Africa's occupation of Namibia. Namibians trusted and hoped that the court would deliver justice to them. Their hopes were dashed, however, when an Australian presiding judge by the name of Spender voted in favor of South Africa. If we had our way today, we would actually go back to the International Court of Justice for it to account for all the people who died during the struggle, including those who were massacred in Kasinga, because they are the ones who triggered the armed struggle. If the court ruled against South Africa, I believe that uh, we would have been able to find a peaceful way of resolving the conflict around Southwest Africa and the South African occupation of the territory. Namibia's journey to liberation was then long and bitter, with its people's future looked uncertain. Angola came into contact with Toivo Toivo, Simon Kakungwa, Elias Erstuhadeleni and others who went on bicycles educating people about the decolonization of Southern Africa. He was also inspired by the book sent to him by one of his cousins in Sierra Leone at the time by Kwame Nkrumah called Africa Must Unite, which he read in secret with his peers. In 1965, Angola, Nangulombumba, Alpombamba and Leonard Sapopi decided to go into exile, whose part of the journey walked more than 400 kilometers on foot. There were thick forests those days. Bongola and Tekanyandi forest. There was only a footpath connecting Ukwanyama and Kwangari. The area was full of elephants, uh, lions, and other dangerous animals. So you were told that you have only to follow that footpath. If you lose it, go back where you came from and try to retrace it. We didn't carry any pots. We didn't carry any... I think we had a water container, one or something. We simply survived because of the solidarity of the local people. In Zambia, Angola joined Radio Zambia, where Sopo had a program to mobilize youth in Namibia to free the country. The Versus regime is now in a desperate attempt aimed at sowing seeds of confusion within the banks of the oppressed Namibian people. He was later assigned to start a school for Namibian children who were refugees in Zambia. Angola did not think then that the liberation struggle was going to be long, but he ended up being there for 23 years.